Hey everyone, Lumi here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this using just Photoshop. So first, um, there's lots of layers to this. Well, actually, not that many. Maybe about 20. But it's actually, we're just going to use a very simple technique of using um, clipping mask. So this is what we're going to use to create it. First, we've got like a cloud texture. Then we've got some spills and stuff, which I will apply to this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this into this. Actually, first, let's make this a... Uh, First, let's make this a smart object. And I apologize if I'm going fast. Pause it if you need to. Because um, I generally do work pretty fast. And so I'm going to do a little bit of blending, getting rid of the top of this. And this is just accessible in the layer style. And then I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to put it in a group. And this way we can feed as much stuff into it as we want. So I'm going to go right here and create a clipping mask. So now that cloud texture is contained within the triangle. You know what, I'm gonna duplicate this and also make that, um, make that a clipping mask as well. I'm gonna drag this around. And I'm gonna try to get it so it generally looks aesthetically pleasing. So then I'm gonna put uh, a mask on this bottom one. Let's grab a soft, uh, edged brush and I'm going to kind of blend these a little bit so using black on the mask I'm gonna paint this in I, and this is a technique I use a lot in my art to make things look natural and you can also do that with gradients as well and as you can see I mean we pretty much already have what could be considered I and mean, you could stop right here if you wanted to so I'm going to create a human saturation layer and feed it into this. I'm going to bump up the saturation a bit. And... Human saturate it till it's kind of a nice pink, pinkish color. Maybe it needs to be saturated a little more. And adjust these a little bit. Maybe saturate this some more. Then I'm going to do some curves again with the clipping mask. So basically, as you can see, all of these things are feeding into this triangle shape. And so whatever I put as a clipping mask is going to fill whatever is in the sh whatever is in this group. So I'm going to go back over to spills. I'm going to grab one of these textures, which I... You, know, you can find them anywhere. I just selected them using a uh, color range and another image and then just copied and pasted them over here. So I'm going to take this I'm going to import it into here. And as you can see, it already imported into the shape. And so as you can see, these two cloud layers are now covering... First of all, this is like... This texture right here is, or the, excuse me, little spray texture is way too big. So let's bump it down a little bit. And as you can see, this is, you know, a triangle is nice. Um, but, you know, I like to give it just a bit, a tad more depth. And um, give it a more interesting shape so it feels more alive. So I'm going to duplicate this. Maybe bring it over here. And you know what? Every time I try this, the results are different. So, you know, kind of embrace that. Make make it your own. Um, maybe drag it up here. And of course, you can adjust this forever. Um, all depends on what you're trying to do. Honestly, a lot of what I do is just experimentation. And, you know, trying to find what looks good. Okay, that looks pretty okay. Go back to my curves and mess with this a little bit. Let's go and take this one. Drag it in here. And I apologize, I may do more basic 
more basic tutorials in the future, but um, this honestly just seemed like a fun project. And I thought it would be interesting to do. So anything I put in this group, and honestly use this, use this technique to do whatever you want, because the possibilities are limitless. Um, yeah. Okay. This isn't looking fantastic, but, you know, this is just to demonstrate a point. Maybe I could desaturate this a little bit. Nah. And as you can see, that looks pretty good. Now, if you look right here, I went ahead and, like, used the wand tool to select some of the color, uh, some pink. And then what I did was I filled it in with a gradient, like a cir circular gradient placed in hard light. Um, it was it honestly happened kind of as an accident, and so it's kind of hard to describe how I did that. Anyway, go to one of these layers. You know, I have no idea if this is going to work, but let's try it. That's what a lot of art is about: is honestly just experimenting. I'm going to create another group, place this inside, convert this to a smart object, and now let's, oh, maybe I should blur it a little bit now that I think about it, because otherwise those edges are going to be super tough. That's a little too much. Let's try somewhere around 10. This way it's just going to blend nicer. So I'm going to take this, drag the opacity down to zero, do a gradient. Oh, nice. Um, it looks like the same effect was layered over from last time. So I'm actually going to duplicate this. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere. This is pretty interesting. And uh, maybe I should go back into the settings and show you guys what I did. So these are just two of the same gradient. I'll make it so there's only one. So I just did a radial gradient. Um, then did, then kind of positioned it how I want. And honestly, you can do whatever you want with this. In fact, I may do several layers with something like this. And um, it's just blue to 0% opacity. Um, so that it kind of fades. You can mess around with the scale and whatnot. Just kind of... It's like, there are wrong answers or <laughs> dumb questions or whatever, but honestly, when you come up with a good system, you, you're you able to just you know, have... You, you have the freedom to create and do whatever you'd like. So, I think that looks cool. I'm going to duplicate that layer again. You know what? I actually just like it with the two. And as you can see, this doesn't look exactly like the other one, but I was kind of saying you get different results every time. And that is okay. And honestly, maybe do a series. I think that would be cool. Mess around with this a little bit. There you have it. Doesn't look exactly like that, but... Um, it's something sort of like it, and, you know, take this, put it in a scene, kind of blend it, make it interesting. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot, it's, a, this is a lot of fun. The, and honestly, this is new territory for me as well. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and, and I hope you learned a technique that you can apply to your own projects, because, honestly, that... That's what I'm doing this for. Alright guys, I will see you later and hopefully uh, you'll see more of these and please please subscribe uh, if you'd like to see more of these. I believe you can just hit the little, once you subscribe you hit the little Taco Bell icon over to the right and uh, you'll be notified when I put out a new video. Alright guys, thank you very much and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.